Hey Fifi, Fifi, we've got a thousand subs. Want to go feed the other ones? Good morning, all four of you. Hey, we got a thousand subs. You want some food? Mission accomplished. That cat stopped bugging me. <laughs> that cat stopped bugging me. Where'd Fifi go? Chickens are happy for now. Oh, there's Fifi. Hi, Fifi. And I did this all before my morning coffee. Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I'm Jeff. Today is Monday and it's cold and I haven't had coffee yet. But I do have a thousand subscribers. So, talk to you later. I'm in the back bedroom getting started on my first project of the day. It is... Yeah, I'm inside. It's like 40 degrees and windy. It is sunny, so no lights in this room. Also, no heat in this room. Uh, even if the furnace did work, which is, it doesn't, the duct work under the trailer is has holes large enough for rats to get in. So <laughs> if there are holes that big enough, that means the heat or air conditioning would be going out. So anyway, if I wanted to fix the heat in this room, <laughs> uh, or, or in this entire mobile home, it would require replacing the furnace, fixing the ductwork, and you're looking at uh, over a thousand bucks at least. So that's why that is not going to happen. And it's also why I'm doing this next project to help me start seed. So, let's get started. Fifi, you always got to be getting into what I'm doing, don't you? Are you going to help me? This is the before footage. I'm calling this project a failure for today but only because something else came up and I forgot how this goes together this is well maybe uh, maybe you'll see it another day but this was a gift to me one of the one or two of the zippers is busted so they bought a new one and gifted this one to me because it was kind of gray inside also instead of white so, but free, so I don't care. But I forgot, I've only put it together once before. So, I forgot how it goes together. <laughs> there are two walls. One of them's kind of hanging on. And a floor and the ceiling. And there's no instructions with it. I'm thinking the walls have to go on before the floor. I don't know. But let's go outside and take a look at what distracts me. We interrupt the indoor tent greenhouse putting up to go get some free wood and a free pallet. But that's like a triple doozy of a pallet. Holy cow. Man, my neighbors are awesome. All right, this is what started the chain of events today. My neighbor stopped by in his tractor with another bucket full of sawdust. So wonderful. And I was back there putting up that tent thing. So I came out when I heard the tractor. He says, hey, you want some pallets? Yeah, I want some pallets. So I've got, well right now it's one giant pallet, but it's three pallets. And it looks like it's, uh, they just put them together with a, junk two by four a couple of well they're two by four so I can take the two by fours off of there and have three pallets um, so yeah cool I got three pallets or one big one and two pretty long two by fours what else did I get well I got these stakes I don't know how many of them there are oh and my neighbor grabbed a bundle too well, he can have them. Um, 
But yeah, this came from those chicken houses. My neck, my other next door neighbor with the chicken houses. They are renovating the chicken houses. They just built a barn. Um, and they just built some compost bins for their chicken poop. Um, and so this was just the junk that was that they tore out. There's some pretty decent 2x4s in there and some 2x2s, lots of 2x2s. And yeah, there's uh, screws and eyelets and all kinds of hardware in it. But I can take that out. And now I think I probably have enough wood to finish my chicken coop. So now I can do the, I've got enough wood for the four braces in the corners, the braces on the back, the braces in the front, the two by twos I can use for the door, and that black and white cat is photobombing. So now I just looks like I need to put it together and buy a 10 by 16 tarp. And then figure out the nesting boxes and roofs, but that won't be a big problem. Okay, but wait! There's more. That was the first part of my video from my activities on Monday. You'll have to wait for my next video to see what kind of free stuff I got in my second truckload of free stuff. Oh, that was that was a wonderful day but it was really tiring my shoulders are just killing me right now see you gotta laugh at the pain that's all you can do is laugh at the pain but it was definitely worth it the the pile of stuff well it, it was all piled on top of each other so it's not like I'm picking up this board and one at a time it's like you gotta get oh man it was a jumbled mess, so I had to dig through a jumbled mess to pick out the the stuff that I wanted. And hey, I, I'll I'll take it. I can finish that chicken coop. Okay, time for a shout out. I learned about uh, the channel I want to shout out today uh, from Jerome B Farm. Bing bang boom, Jerome D B Farm. I was watching some of his videos, and he did this cool uh, video where he. Uh, the dust on his tractor and he put messages on the dust on his tractor and it, it was good anyway I'd like to shout out two dogs they're a new to me channel they're at I don't know 875 approaching 900 so they're getting getting close to that thousand subscriber threshold and uh, it's uh, he's a great dude over there although dude take her easy on the fast food that's all I'm gonna say Two dogs, link below.